What's up guys? Uncle Polly's back. We're out here on the river. This is the weekend before the fishing tournament and I just wanted to get out here and test a few things out. We got some skipjack. We got some chicken and jello. I have a new system I built onto the back of my boat for my rods and all that. We're out here at the dam. They've got the current really, really moving. The water temperature right now is 72.5 degrees. It's supposed to get down to 54, 50 degrees tonight. So it's going to be a cold one. We're going to stay out as late as possible. We've got some lights. We've got some night fishing going on. We're going to have some fun. i got a got a new boat member with me today. Say hi. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get rigged up and go over my rigs here in just a minute. And uh, we'll hopefully get on to some big ones. All right, guys, we got some skipjack cut up. We're just going to start out with skipjack. Like I said, I've got three different rig styles happening right now. I've got my standard drift rig I use. When I just want a drift rig, I've got about a two and a half foot leader, little uh, two pound peg float, 10 knot, pencil sinker on a swivel. This is going to be the first rig set up today. I'm just going to put a piece of a uh, scrimp jack on. Oh. All right, so first piece of bait is on. We're going to toss it out just a little bit. I'm not going to throw this one too far. I like using peg floats when I'm not suspend fishing. Keeps the uh, the baits three to about three, two to three feet off the bottom, which is the strike zone for catfish, which is really where you want to be. Especially these uh these big old catfish. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all have seen them on my videos. Second rig. I've got a triple threat, 10 knot, another bobber. This time we're using a uh, an egg sinker, same size leader. This one's gonna hit the bottom. It's gonna be able to let this out a little bit and let that peg float really pick up that piece of bait and let it go. And always make sure you get the scales off your hooks because you will miss a fish if you do not get the scales off the hooks. This one I'm going to throw out as well. Not going to go far because I don't need to. I'm actually going to give this one a little bit of slack in the line. Let that egg sinker really move on down a little bit for me. We got it set up. And then the last one I've got a bank fishing style set up that I like to use when I'm suspend fishing or just dropping it straight out the back of the boat. You can see I tied line to line right there with a little A dot, barrel swivel, but the weight's all the way down there at the bottom and I got it about two and a half feet off the bottom for that strike zone, guys. You just throw it straight down and, and pray for the best. And this one's going to be uh, just straight down. Like I said, I'm not casting it or anything. We're going to fish this one right here along this wall because I just, I don't know, I want to fish along this wall right now. I just feel like it's a decent spot for me. So just feeling it. Fishing by feel, y'all. Just like that. And now uh, we just sit here and wait for a takedown. All right, guys, we got another uh, love tap right here. Oh, reel down on him. Right now. Got him. Fish on right there. There we go, fellas. First fish of the day. All right. Let's see what we've got. Skipjack body section. Here he comes. Nice little blue cat. Still got my bait. That's a good thing. Woo. First fish of the day. Blue cat. It's a good sign, y'all. These are the, uh, this hook 
is the triple threat you get from a whisker seeker tackle y'all so pretty good little hooks you seen that in action he's pretty actually that's a uh that's a blue channel cat y'all good looking fish uncle polly's not keeping any today we're just uh releasing everything so goodbye Ooh, that's a bite right there a little tuggy tuggy fish on baby there we go Polly got another one on that's like another five to 10 pounder maybe maybe something different it's a gar shit no it's a little channel cat no a little blue cat a little channel cat a little blue cat a little cat who well, guys we might not be catching monsters tonight but we're catching we're catching quite a bit of fish tonight can't uh say i'm not happy he has a broken fin right there He's been a battled, battle-hardened kitty. That's a nice little channel cat right there, guys. Nice speckles on him, nice coloring. Real healthy. He's a real pretty little channel cat. And goodbye. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, you know how Uncle Polly does it on night fishing trips. That's right, it's time for Chef Boyardee right out of the can again. Need some protein, I ain't had nothing to eat today. Worked 10 hours today, tired. Just wanted to get some fishing in. My lovely assistant here, girlfriend, wanted to buy me some dinner. This is what she bought me. <laughs> and I got a bite, I don't get to eat. <laughs> Dag nabbit. We ain't worried about it unless it's a big one. You have the crap that they say it does not make sense. Whoa. That was definitely a bite. Yeah. That's a fish on right there, fellas. That's a good size. Yeah. Woohoo! Yep, yeah, we're going to need the net on this one. That's a good fight right there. There we go. What do we got? Uncle Polly's got a fishy. This is, this rod's good right there. Look at that. Yeah, did you put it in the holder? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Ooh, look at him. Another blue cat. A decent sized looking blue cat. He's just out there doing his thing, ain't he? That's a good sized blue cat, guys. Probably 15 pounder, maybe 20. We might put him on the scale. Go ahead and net him. There you go. Oh my gosh. He's... 14.77 pounds, y'all. Pretty, pretty decent sized blue. I do say so myself. Give me a tug. So you're waiting for him to fight back? Mm -hmm. Why isn't he doing it now? Is he dying? No, he ain't dying. There he goes. I can feel him. He's starting to burp, burp, burp. He's fixed to take off. There he goes. All right, fishy. Bye, buddy. There he goes, off into the depths. Yay, fish! Good job, honey. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am now. All right, guys. Just had a good takedown on the uh, skipjack headpiece right here. Pretty good takedown on the headpiece. 
we want to see what you are be another 15 pounder would be nice i'll take another 15 and it's not he's a little bit smaller he's just fighting hard in this current don't need the net don't need it nah he's small current is just pulling real good oh we did catch us another little blue cat he's real pretty in color man he's nice and warm this water temperature is still like 75 we still got our headpiece but look at that pretty. real pretty blue cat that's a really great looking fish right there you guys real happy with that one and uh uncle polly's doing this <laughs> oh yeah that was on the headpiece yay finally caught something on the headpiece all right guys that's it for the fishing adventure tonight we got a few little fish on we're cold it's early in the morning. It's just time to go home. Time to call it quits. We'll be back out here in uh, two more days, I hope. We're going to come back out Sunday all day during the day. Give it another try. We'll be back with y'all later. Uncle Polly's out. <laughs>